Today, we're going to talk about stocks. No, not stocks in the cornfield, but stocks in the stock market. We're going to talk about how they come about and why they are priced the way they are. But first, if you're new to the channel, go down and hit that subscribe button to become part of the Wealth Giant family. And if you find value in this video, smash that like button. So let's get started. So what is a stock? A stock is a fraction of a company, and I'm going to use this piece of paper to demonstrate that. This is the business. Now, every single time you divide the group up into two, you get a new stock. So stock one, stock two, four stocks, eight stocks, 16 stocks, you get the point. The point is, is that each piece of a company is a individual stock, an individual ownership in that company. And based on how many you own will determine the percentage of that company that you own. So now that you understand what a stock is and how it's an individual share of a company, let's talk about how it's priced. So Joe Schmo is out here. He's selling his donuts, Joe's Donuts. And he's selling his donuts like crazy. Everybody loves them. They're a huge hit. So what he decides to do is he decides to open up a store. Well, in his store, it becomes oversaturated with customers as well. So it is even bigger than he thought. So he buys another place and another and another Meanwhile, he is using money from other people, such as private investors and some banks. Well, eventually he gets to the point where he cannot keep up with it to expand his business more. So what he has to do is he has to go public. So how does Joe make his company go public? Well, Joe says, I need to build up as much money as possible so that I can expand my business. So Joe says, let's take it to an investment bank. Well, the investment bank, he says, I want to make my company public. And the investment bank's going to sit back and say, well, let us review your information, you know, every aspect of your company, your financial records, and so on and so forth. Joe's going to hand all those stuff all over to the bank, and the bank is going to be like, hmm, let's see. Then they're going to call Joe in and say, look, we think that your company is worth this much per share and we're going to give you this many shares and Joe's going to determine what the value is by multiplying the value of shares by the total number number of shares and that'll tell him his value of his company. If he thinks that his company is worth more, he can negotiate a little bit and say, look, I think it should be this much higher and the bank will probably be like, well, we can maybe go this much and then it is offered to the public. And this is known as an IPO, Initial Public Offering, which initiates the sell in the public stock exchange. So what causes the price of a stock to fluctuate after the IPO? I mean, it's not like the IPO is going to keep it at its price for forever. I mean, we see the stock prices go up and down on a day-to-day -day basis. So the main thing and the simplest way to put it is supply and demand. Whenever the supply is high and the demand is low, you're going to see a decrease in the stock price. Whenever the demand is high and the supply is low, you're going to see an increase increase in the stock price. Now, what can cause changes in the supply and demand of the company? Well, various factors such as how the company performs is probably one of the easiest ways to look at it. If a company is performing and exceeding expectations, typically the price of the stock will rise. Other things is hype. Say a company is hyped up and people are buying into it like crazy. Other people want to buy in so that they could sell out at a higher point to make a quick profit. Uh, other things that can affect it is the economy. The economy can change and therefore drop the price or raise the price depending on how well it is doing. Interest rates, whenever interest rates are high, typically the stock price is low. And whenever the interest rates are low, the stock prices are high. And that's just accessibility to money. Also, futuristic goals can have an effect on the stock price. If a stock is expected to make great changes in the future for the world and make life easier, chances are you're going to have a lot of people investing money into it to hopefully increase its speed in producing those products that increases its valuableness to society. So those are just various factors that can fluctuate the stock price and what makes its price what it is. And that's all I got for you guys today. It's very basic, very to the point. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, smash that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and become a wealth giant. I will see you tomorrow in the next video.